we're here today to celebrate the good work happening in our local community as we continue our recovery from Hurricane Ian that hit just one year ago. We were devastated to watch this beautiful community hit with such destruction. Once the storm hit, we began our strategy to help the community rebuild. We have had a, a, a fantastic recovery because of all the organizations that came together. They, they didn't just leave it up to us. I am so grateful to be back here in Fort Myers. The last time I was here, it was Hurricane Ian and we were doing post-disaster recovery, working with seniors. So to be back here and seeing how vibrant this community is, has been exciting, but working with public-private partnerships like WellMed, this charitable foundation that gave us so much to really enhance and extend our Hope Heroes. I'm thrilled, I'm honored, and I'm grateful and blessed to have those seniors out there today working on different parts of the state. So being back here today to thank WellMed for what they've done to make that possible, I'm just grateful. And it's not just about recovery, it's about companionship and it's about hope. Good health happens in the community. Did you know that only 4% of all philanthropic giving goes to older adults? So what we have done here is truly amazing. The quickest lesson I can give you in this concept called compassion is three words, just like me. I'm hoping everybody says just like me. As a nonprofit, of course, any kind of grant that we can receive that perpetuates aging services so we continue to serve those aging members of our population is very important to us. It's been a critical program since the foundation of the organization, and so we know that we need to continue to find those resources and partners like WellMed to ensure that that continues to happen for the people in our community that have served us so long, it's time for us to serve them. We're presenting a check for 690600 the gift is very important because we need to make sure that the seniors in our community do have the resources that they need. More than just food, but we know that food is health. And so helping us to make sure that they're getting a warm, nutritious meal, that they're getting a beverage of their choice, and that they're having that companionship that's going to help them make it through the day. Isolation can be very deteriorating. And the program for Meals on Wheels just really helps with their overall well-being, not just the nutrition. Companionship is just number one. You know, they need to know, they count, they matter. It doesn't matter what they're doing, they count. To hear their story, learn what was it that got them into the predicament that they're in, and just listening. Sometimes that's all that these folks want, is someone to listen to and talk to because they're lonely and they don't have anybody else, and the people in their life are unable to help financially. So if we can connect them with partners that we work with, that can help or we can help in any way and all these funds will be able to um, that we're receiving from WellMed will be able to go right back into helping them. Community before self. That seems to be the attitude and the spirit of Southwest Florida.